Hi guys, I'm Hannah and I'm going to show you how to use your blade peeps with your creatine powder today. First thing, let's open up our creatine powder. And now when you take your blade peeps and you open it up, it'll have a plastic box on the inside and it looks something like this. There will be this cardboard little piece inside that has the instructions on it and this also turns into two stands. So there's serrated line, tear it apart. I personally like to keep one in the box for when I'm out and about and then keep one at home. Now there's two little lines there, you just wanna fold it and then there's two cutouts and you just put the clasp in them like so. And then I personally like to kind of push it. So that's the little stand there. The other one, I'm just gonna put it back in the box here. There is also a little wooden spoon in there for you. And then your papes. What you wanna do is take one pape out, put it in your stand. There are a few different ways to use your pouches. Whichever way you choose to do it, the first step is always gonna be to add your powder to the pouch. You can use a scale. We recommend it just because then you know exactly how much you're doing. When you're a first time user, you're gonna wanna start off with a small amount just until you get the hang of things. So probably like a gram or two of powder. So I'm just gonna add in a gram. The first method we're gonna do is the dip method and it's the most basic. What you're gonna do is lift up your pouch and then you're just gonna make kind of like a triangle and fold over the top like so. And then this little extra piece, we're just gonna fold it back in, just like that. We're gonna take our water and we're gonna dip it halfway, making sure not to get where we are holding wet. That's very important. And this will seal to itself as well. You can kind of hold it there for a little bit to get it nice and soft. And then just put it in your mouth and then swallow with more water. Next method is the float method. So like before, you're gonna take your pouch, fold over the top, fold in the excess, take your water. You're gonna dip it like before and then just drop the rest so it floats on top. Now it can stay like this for a little bit so you have time. What you're gonna do essentially is just let it flow into your mouth and drink. Also, some people like to use a spoon and do it like this. And then just swallow with more water. If you are gonna use a spoon when picking it up, just be careful not to rupture the sides of the pouch with the edges of the spoon. This next way is great if you don't have a cup of water or if you're traveling. So you can actually pre-seal it and take it with a water bottle. There are a few different ways to seal them shut. I'm just gonna show you a couple right now. The first way, just like before, but instead you're gonna lick, then fold over the top, and then the excess, right? See, not going anywhere. The second way to seal them for on the go, it's a little different. You're gonna fold the sides in, and then you're gonna lick the top right here and then fold it down like this. And then that's again, not going anywhere. So now if you have a cup, you could still take these, uh, the dip or the float way. But say you're out, you don't have a cup, but you have a water bottle. So you're gonna take a sip of water first, make sure your mouth is not super dry. And then put the pouch in your mouth. So when you take that sip of water, you're not gonna swallow it right away. You're gonna hold it there for about five seconds or so until it gets nice and soft so it's easy to swallow. So those are the three ways how to use your blade peeps. And now Harrison's gonna show you some troubleshooting. What's up guys, I'm Harrison. I'm gonna go through Happy Hippo's recent reviews and see what people were having trouble with and then show you how to solve that problem. So this first review comes from Tim. He says, 
These come in handy. The cardboard stand helps keep it upright while you're loading it. I'll be buying them again when this pack is done. I'm wondering, after I fill one up, if I can seal it and put in a baggie to take to work. I put some powder in a baggie before to toss and wash, but it's kind of a pain and not very discreet to dump a baggie into your mouth. I feel your pain, Tim, and I totally agree. Yes, it is very easy to pre-seal and take your pouch with you, just like Hannah showed you before. After you pre-seal it, I would still put it in a baggie and then just take it out whenever you're getting ready to use it. You wanna make sure that that pouch stays dry. Another thing that you can do is after you've used your pouches, you can use the box as a carrying case for future pouches. So you just throw them right in here and take them with you like that. So this next review comes from Priscilla S. These did not work for me. I tried the fill and dip in water method. Unfortunately, before I took a drink of water and just placed it in my mouth, I inhaled and had to spit it out. I only used about two grams, felt like I was going to choke and had a kratom powder cough attack. So it says that when she placed it in her mouth, she inhaled powder. The only way that that could have happened is if when she put it in her mouth, some of the powder was still exposed and then she took a deep breath in um, at that point. I can tell you that what you wanna do for sure is when you go to dip it, make sure that you fully dip it up to your fingers. Don't get your fingers wet, but just like up about halfway and make sure that this little flap gets wet and it seals to itself fully. And when you do that, it's gonna make sure that no powder's exposed and you can't breathe anything in, right? When you go to use it, make sure you dip it, put it right in your mouth. Don't breathe, don't do anything except take a sip of water and finish swallowing it. This review is by Ronnie. Ronnie says, I consider myself crafty, but I had to put at least three papers together and then by the time you get your kratom in there, it's too big to swallow. I tried just licking the end, but it dissolved before I could touch the other side. As soon as it hit my mouth, it completely dissolved and I coughed out powder. When you go to use your pouches, you wanna make sure that you're only ever using one pouch. It says that he used two or three at a time. If you use more than one at a time, you're putting a larger barrier in between the powder and you. So when you dip it in water, it's gonna be a heavier barrier. And when you go to swallow it, there is a higher chance of you choking on it because it can be stuck in your throat and not break apart as quickly. The best part about these is that they dissolve very quickly, right? So they'll hit you quicker too. So you definitely don't wanna use more than one paper at a time, only one. And this is really important because if by chance you did have a problem while swallowing it, well, this would break open very quickly in your throat and let you swallow it without choking. The more papers you put, the more of a choking hazard it can become because it can have such a large barrier protecting the powder inside. So make sure to always use one no matter what. If it's dissolving too quickly when you're dipping it in water and that's why you're considering using more than one paper at a time, don't do that. We're gonna go into troubleshooting now with the most common issues people have and explain exactly how to fix them. Okay, so common problem number one is if you taste it while using them. This might happen if there's powder exposed or if a hole gets in it. So what you wanna make sure, no matter which method you're choosing, is that the pouch is completely enclosed. So if you're doing the normal dip method, make sure you fold over the entire thing, that there's no part of this that's open, and then you fold that little edge right there, and you hold it shut, and then you go to dip it, make sure you don't get your fingers wet, but that you dip around this area so that it all seals to itself. Doing this will ensure that there's no powder exposed and you don't taste any powder when you go to put it in your mouth. Another less common reason for you tasting it might be that you waited too long after dipping it to swallow it. Like say you did the floating method, but you left it there for like too long, maybe up to a minute, two minutes. At that point, some of the taste could come through the gel film because it's sucked through. You usually have a lot of time. You don't really have to worry about something like that. But just by chance, if you're waiting a minute or longer, that could happen if you're using the float method. Be sure not to get your fingers wet when you're dipping it and going to put it in your mouth, because if you do, there is a chance the outside of the pouch, the gel, could stick to your fingers when you're releasing it in your mouth. And if that happens, you could rupture a hole in it and thus taste it. So next problem is if it does dissolve too quickly. If we're talking about using kratom powder, well, dissolving too quickly is not as common because water will take a little while to soak into the kratom. So because of that, you have a lot longer to use your pouch. If you're having a problem where it's dissolving too quickly, I personally suggest using the float method because you can actually wait up to a minute and be fine still taking it. The softer that the pouch is, the easier that it will be to swallow when you go to take it. 
Usually for Kratom, you want like at least three seconds, maybe a little longer to ensure that it's gelled up enough to swallow it. This is why floating is such a good way. You just kind of like soak it and then once it's wet and sealed, you drop it in the water or I just let it float to the side and I kind of use my finger and just and I find that much easier than the other methods. If after all that, it's still dissolving too quickly, you could also use colder water because the colder the water is, the slower the gelling process is. It works in opposite too. So the warmer, the hotter the water is, the quicker this will gel up. So we suggest use room temperature water, but if you find that you need it to go quicker, you can use warmer water, or if you find that you need more time, you can use cold or ice cold water. Another issue that some people have is if when you're filling the pouch, it falls into the stand. Most kratom isn't very heavy, so it usually won't happen, but if you happen to have a very dense kratom powder, it could, if you put a little bit of powder in, it could pull the, the pouch in because of the larger size of the stand. Well, then what we suggest is making this hole a little smaller. All you have to do is just push it in, just like that. And then you have a smaller hole and the powder won't get it won't be so easy for it to fall down. The next very important thing to note is that you should not get them wet until it's time to use them. If perhaps these get too much moisture, then you could ruin the entire pack because they will all soak, gel, and stick together. So don't keep them anywhere where they can get wet or like there's really, really high humidity. You don't have to worry if you live in Florida or tropical climates, that's totally fine. That's not gonna cause any problems. But say if like you're in the shower and you keep it in the bathroom, there is a chance that the steam could actually cause these to gel up a little bit and stick to each other. And you wanna make sure to avoid that at all costs. When you go to use them, make sure that your hands are completely dry. See, I personally suffer from sweaty hands at times. So if my hands are too sweaty and I go to touch it, well, I could actually gel up that little part that I touched. So I like to either, I just you know dry my hands on my clothes or I use a towel. Um, especially be careful of this if you have just washed your hands and you go to handle the pates. You could do the same thing. You might not even realize it and it could make either a little hole or it could just you know, kind of stick to you and you want to make sure to avoid that so that you're not rupturing it when you use it and you don't waste one. And finally, one of the last common problems is that it's too big to swallow. Now, everyone's different. So one person might be able to take more powder in one than another, but we always suggest that you know your limits and don't try to swallow more than you can. Generally, between two and four grams, of uh, Kratom is the most you'd want to take in one, depending on the person, depending on the Kratom powder density. When in doubt, split them out. If the pate looks like it's too full and it's gonna be hard to swallow, use two and put half of it into the other one and just take two separately. It's important to always be as safe as possible uh, because everyone's different. Some people might have a problem swallowing it, others might not. So just know, you know your own limits and uh, know what you're comfortable doing. If it does seem like it's too hard to swallow for you, make sure that it is having enough time to gel up. So either hold it in the water for you know three to five seconds, but without getting your fingers wet, or do the float method and then give it you know five to ten seconds to float there and fully soak and gel up, and then you can be sure that when you're going to go swallow it. Well, it'll be fully gelled and easiest to swallow. But that's it, that's how you use your papes. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us or Happy Hippo, we'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much and enjoy using your blade papes.